Let me dip into some linseed oil. And I'm just going to go right here on this palette. I know you probably can't see that on where you're at. But I'm just, it's just wet and I'm just kind of getting me a spot to work in. I want to think about some of these colors here. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a little bit of this white up here. Now this white is uh, not an ideal white for, uh, what would you say, glazing. But if we saturate it enough, I believe we might be able to get uh, what we need out of it. A good one is zinc white is a good glazing white. So let me show you. See how strong that is? But if we just kind of, you know, give it a haze. I just want this to push this back a little bit. So I'm just laying on some. Now I'm going to blend it better in a moment. So bear with me. So let's just get the let's just get this on there. But we can add just a little bit of this blue right here. See this? Let's add just a little bit of that into it. I don't want to go over this yellow with it, but see that? Makes it kind of a gray color when it hits that other paint on there. See that? Let's just add some in. I don't want to cover the entire canvas, but I want to get some of this cloud. I want it to be kind of hazy. Maybe it's stormy looking. You know, in the storm clouds, they, they look hazy. Put it right in here. Don't necessarily have to be all in this. See that? Just want to do that. Now, I'm going to wipe my brush out for a good bit, get a lot of that white out. And I just want to, you know, pet this color in there. With the brush strokes, I'm barely, barely uh, touching the canvas, I'm not putting much pressure on it. But just that little bit will help, and you can do this layer after layer after layer, and uh, you know, work with it that way. Let's grab a little bit more of this paint. Let's go over here. I'm having to kind of stretch out here so my big head ain't in the way. See that? One thing I was thinking earlier while I was looking at this picture, I've been looking at it on and off today, uh, is, I don't know about that, I want to make these really strong colors right in here. That's just my personal opinion, so I'm really debating here in the moment. To, and this brush has just very little of that color in, so it's just mixed. See that? Just want to do it. I think it kind of helps uh, push some of that back in there. Looks like it's got just a little bit of a haze on this color right here. And it adds that like a pushes it back farther into there and makes it look more uh, not so dominant, you know, I guess is the word. And I'm about to run out of my haze color here, but look, see all that? You can lighten and darken. That's what painting's all about, is just doing your thing, you know. And that's what I'm doing right now. But uh, glad to be here with you, though. I will say that. Glad to be here as anywhere. I appreciate you if you took the time and wanted to watch this video and enjoy these. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll try to keep some coming to you. I really enjoy making these for you. Just uh, sharing them. Uh, it's always fun to paint, but it's a lot more fun to share when you paint. So that's what, what I'm trying to do. Okay. So, I mean, you can get even darker. and We may even go just a little darker right in here. But what I want to focus on right now is some of this area here with a brighter brighter tone so first of all I'm going to uh, let me get a clean brush I'm going to lay that dirty brush down I don't want a uh, big brush see here I'm going to just use like this is just a smaller version of that one that I showed you uh, you've got this if I line up with the camera sorry about that Soft bristle. Okay. 
I'm gonna get just a little bit of linseed oil. Give me another spot here and I'm gonna grab some of this bright yellow. I think this is Cadbarium yellow. But this is a bright yellow. Now, I'm gonna grab some of the white. Cause that white will make it more opaque. Cause this is a transparent yellow. You can kinda see how it's showing through, but now it's, plus it'll brighten it up just a little bit. I'm gonna grab a little more. This is not uh, as bright. I don't want it this white, so what I'm gonna do is add a little more of this. I thought that color might have had some. Put more of that in. That looks good. I think that's getting there bright, and you can kind of see up here just how bright it is. Look, see that? Look how fresh that color is. See how we can. Just put that color in there. But I think that will give it so much more pop. I don't know, you want them burning skies. I, I just love that. Strong, almost hurt your eyes type uh, yellows and bright colors in, in the sky. push that clown back in there. Um, very strong color. Get right up here. Whoops, came slid just a little. Now then, let's do this again. We'll add a little more white to this part right here. The brighter it gets. Just feather this out. And you can, this is really learned by a lot of trial and error sometimes. So if you get a, a too much, you know, you just have to learn what's right for you, what you feel like. So you know, just look at it and think about it. I'm just using my fingertip to blend that out right there. Now, the other thing I want to do is use some of this orange. I'm going to wipe some of this yellow out. I've got some, uh, I may have to get some out. I think that orange is dry. Let me go get some bright orange. Let me put out some. I've got some of this uh, cadmium barum orange. I think this is a pretty color. I think this will work good for this picture. I'm going to just go ahead and put it up here on this dried paint. don't need much. Such a strong, strong color. Um, Now then, let's grab some of this uh, orange. I'm gonna mix it in with that yellow right there. See that? Strong color. But we will probably need some more linseed oil because of this, uh, needs more of a drying agent. That orange takes a long time to dry, so. Let me, uh, I know this is a lighter shade, but I'm gonna put it right over here. We're going to blend this in in a moment, so don't fret too much with me. We'll make some clouds. We can do all kinds of things with this, so let's go right over here. Right down from that. See that? I'm going to add some more orange. Not all the time you get to add some of this, just this pretty orange in this. Let's see here. Orange. A 
little linseed oil in there to help dry it up good. Okay. So this is a lot orange than what I had on there. Strong. This is what I want. Remember, do what you like. If you want it strong, then make it strong. I just thought this might make some of these other colors really pop. Cross through there. And that's just what I want. I'm wondering about just taking that all the way up through there. Now. I don't know if it would be too much. Remember what I was talking about trial and error? You can always wipe it off, can't we? See, I'm leaving some of that red running between that. Look right there, let's put just a little bit in between that. This is kind of hazy, so I don't want to overcolor this area right here. I want this to be like that. There we go. Ah, this right here is bothering me. So I'll have to blend that just a little bit, but I'm wondering about just taking that. Let me step back and look at that and see how that looks. I'm wondering about just taking that orange all the way up to the bottom of that cloud. That's what I'm wondering about. Hmm. It is pretty bright. Okay. So we know we've got dark red underneath, so I can scrub some of that other paint back off. But what about if I some of that up in there? See that? I'm going to kind of fade. One easy way to do this, I'm going to make this go up in there. I'm just going to pull up. And that's just pulling that rough edge up. And I'm going to show you something. If you don't already know this. It's, I don't want to get rid of this hard edge right here. I'm not going to do it on the cloud right there. But right there. We're going to put a pop up in there too. Just a little pop of color. Flip that up. Let that blend into that. A little bit right there. Might even put some over there. I don't know. This sky is just on fire now. we got to cool it down just a tad. Alright. So to do that, I'm going to lend the help of a brush. Let me find the brush I want to use. I might try, let's start out with this uh, fan brush. It's just a little stiff bristle brush. Not much to it. It is clean. That's what we want. Okay. Now, I'm going to start up here where there's hardly no paint. Let's just kind of scrub this area right here. See that? Make that soft. Try to keep away from the edge of our clouds. Let pull up. Gently. We can move things around and softly. We'll move this stuff around softly. See there? All right. Now, over here, let me wipe. Let's keep this wiped out as much as we can. All right. See there? And I'm just barely, barely touching the canvas. 
see it, it gets rid of that edge, that hard, hard edge. And you can remove paint. That's all it's doing is it's taking some of the paint off. Remember, I've got paint underneath there if I want to bring it back out. So I'm going to just pull this. And that darkness will tone some of this bright down because that's opaque. See that? See there. I think that's blending that real nice. And we don't really have much of color out there. See that? That just kind of blended it nice, didn't it? Very, very nice. Very nice. Hmm. I'm about tempted to put some up in that little area right there. I see a couple of areas that need it. Oh, yeah. How about if I can sit down without falling? <laughs> oh. Okay. So, a little bit here. A little bit right in there. A little bit here. Just few little places. Now, we're going to put some more right in here. See that? I like that, so we're going to put some more right in there. I'm about tempted to put just a sparkle in the right place right over here, maybe. Right in here. There's a few spots. Clean my brush. Take care of this one first. You get it over on your white clouds, you're just going to have to take and remove it, either with a paint remover eraser or with a paint thinner or baby wipe or something. You know? I've got a little bit on my cloud. Maybe I'll show you how to do that. See how I just kind of push that over that way a little bit? Now, just using the tip of it, I'm going to remove it. It's just removing some of the paint it's always doing. It's just pushing it down into the fabric and away from some of the other things. So we want to blend this up. So see, it looks like it's going down in there. Somehow I've got a ton of white paint all over my hands. It happens, and I think it's off of this paper towel. Yeah, part of paint. Gotta get it on to be a painter. I bet my wife don't think that. I love that. See there? Just adds so much warmth and so much more to the painting. It's just uh, brings it alive just so much more. You know? mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna scrub this part in right here. Oh, it just looked unbalanced. There we go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is work on some of this. Uh, I need to work on this light right here. Make it brighter. It just does not stand out like a light. Now, the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it this time or if I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, may have to wait and let that orange dry. It might take a while for this stuff to, uh, to dry. But that's perfectly fine. By the way, orange is one of my favorite colors. I love orange on paintings because you don't see it a lot in landscapes. Uh, in natural life stuff, some, I see an orange flower, I just fall in love sometimes with the, just the pop that it gives to nature. And uh, so I'm not worried about this cloud. I can edge that off anytime. My, my biggest goal was to try to get all this beautiful orange to make this look so warm and glow. Now, I do have yellow here, so I need to add some of this orange on the beach because this water, this beach is just reflecting. It's got a shimmer of water, so it, it's reflecting what it's seeing. It's just a mirror. That's all water is. So I'm going to grab that brush that had the orange on 
you see you see all this you're seeing the yellow so why not put I think it'd be beautiful if we can get some of this beautiful orange in there so the right places to put it is somewhere right in here pull that down and just play with these colors don't try to just go in there no 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 take your time but this beautiful orange is going to be the way to go with this beach right here. We're going to turn this painting upside down beautiful. Just let this orange and all these warm colors, you know, take hold. And I'm barely touching because I want this to fade off into the darkness. So we can, we've learned by now we can rub paint off of the canvas and strengthen it. So painting's not about just applying, it's about removing and doing all kinds of different things. So, uh, you know, I'm just working with this. I think that'll look good. Sorry about my chair making these noises. I'm not sitting on a dog's tail or anything. Sounds like it when I do that. Sit back fast. It, so, uh, just a little bit here. I'm gonna try this right here. I don't know if that's gonna work. I want that orange to just be here and there and there and here. And I'm going ahead and putting some in because of uh, it's hard to get that same mixture sometimes. So instead of having to do it later, I'm just gonna put some in right there. Just want it to be throughout the painting, you know, like maybe it's here. And that's what we got. It's part of the painting. All right. Lay that brush down. And that brush did have a lot of paint in it, so if I can keep from getting paint all over everything, you know. Get my whole. But see how good that little fan brush is? You just need like kind of a stiff bristle sometimes. And it doesn't have many bristles. Notice how the bristles are, you can kind of see through them. It's real airy looking. So you don't need a lot. Just sometimes enough to just remove something. Let's go right here. Now, you go up, you need to go across because the land is laying flat. You see what I'm saying right there? Okay. Got about 13 minutes on this video and kind of restrictions on the plan I'm on. I'm going to solve that soon. Sometimes you may have to go over this a few times to get what you need. This is not, there we go. Just kind of blend that little thing out. I'm going to scoot this out a little bit. Just some reflected shadow. May have to put some more orange on. May have to cover some of it up later. I don't know. We don't want that to look like blood in the water. So I may have to remove that. Sometimes the trick is not to over blend, but you want to get rid of some of these harsher lines right there. See what I'm saying? Just a little stain of color. So I'm using the side of the brush right there, see? Just that edge. Let me get me a table. Let me look at it some. These easels, period. Little table. Right. Now remember, if it don't work, you can always, always paint over it and try it. But it never hurts to experiment. That's the only way you're going to learn. The only way you're going to grow. 
All right, now I see what I've got now. I like it pretty good. I just need to do a little tweaking with some of the yellow. But that's no problem. I've got yellow on hand. So let's go ahead and just do that. Sometimes you find yourself knee deep with brushes. Alright. Another yellow. You know, like I said, this paint underneath is dry, so uh, except for the orange I just put on there, but uh, makes it easier to work with. I like doing some of these sideways. It looked like it's where the light's coming down to the there. Yeah. You learn to grow the things that you like. So that's what you should paint. Now I'm going to take this brush, I'm going to wipe most of that orange out. Pull it down. Gently across. This is where you break up some of those hard edges. Keep some, break some. Up. See this? Just gotta know what works. The only way you do that is practice. Is to practice. Pretty good. You know, we may put a little more white on it, make it even brighter as the painting dries and we get a little farther in. But I think that should hold it right now to where I uh, want to go from there and work with it. So uh, let's go ahead and start on this wave right here, and then we'll finish up here for today's art. Okay, I'm going to get. Uh, I've got just this little. I've said it before, a little old brush, and it's the bristles are kind of stiff on where I've let paint dry in a little bit, which is going to work great for what I need. I want to make this bigger. So I'm going to take some of this blue, make sure this blue is still good. Well, maybe it's about dried out. There, let me get some wind seed oil. Grab a little bit of white. I got white in two locations, it looks like. Mm -hmm.